People keep saying to me, you're just hitting and opening it, you're just hitting and opening it. Hitting and opening that bag there. Pocket power. Hitting and open. Hitting and open. Hitting and open. That's what club players do, isn't it? Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I'm going to talk about something here that no other YouTube channels dare talk about. Uh, especially those that are kiss ass, MTK and Matchroom. They don't really want to mention it, but I'm going to mention it right. Ben Davidson. Now, what's the situation with Ben Davidson with Billy Joe Saunders? What's the situation with Tyson Fury? I mean, what's the situation with Ben Davidson putting himself about wanting to train other fighters? I mean, is he not going to be working with Tyson Fury no more down the line? Have they parted company? Well, we don't know, do we? Uh, I know he's been asked and he do not want to comment. Uh, he says all the right things and does all the, does all the right things and toes the, uh, the company line, doesn't he? But I think that there might be a few chinks in the armour with Tyson Fury after the Otto Wallin fight. Nobody dare say a dicky bird, dare they? Because you're a hater! You're a hater if you mention it, but I think the fans have got a right to know. Now, looking back at the situation, uh, I think he worked with Billy Joe Saunders a couple of times now, hasn't he? Did he do some fitness work with him in 2012? He did the fight with Billy Joe Saunders uh, when Billy fought in the Billy fight in Paisley. I think he fought in Paisley, didn't he, against uh, Artuf Akavov, was he? The guy, didn't he fight him? Uh, at the Lagoon Leisure Centre, 3rd of December 2016, and that's probably Billy Joe Saunders' worst ever performance. Worst ever performance, and... I had him winning, but it was his worst ever performance against somebody that shouldn't have been in the same ring as him. Now, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that they don't come out with certain things. They don't. I'm not trying to be controversial, but sometimes you've just got to push the boat out and ask what's happening. Now, I look at all these other YouTube channels out here, and they're all talking about it, aren't they? Well, they're not actually coming out and doing a video on it, are they? I've just been uh, talking to somebody who's who speaks to uh, some the, a certain couple of YouTube guys, and they're dying to do it, but they just daren't because they don't want to ruin the chances down the line. And oh my God, it's unbelievable, isn't it? So it's left to me, isn't it? It's like me and Dale Nichols, we do a video, don't we, about pay-per-view. And then certain YouTube channels, they start doing a video, don't they, about pay-per-view. <laughs> eh? It's like it's okay for me to dip my toe in the water and come out of it. Well, listen, this is how I look at it. We're renegades at Porky's Corner. We're not bothered about what people think. We're just going to... We're just going to come out and ask it straight. Now, Ben Davidson trained Billy Joe Saunders for the Akafov fight. And uh, I don't know what happened after that. But uh, is it Akavov, the, uh, the Russian guy? But uh, after that fight, 
Billy Joe Saunders uh, ended up fighting uh, Willie Monroe, didn't he? Then David Lemieux. And uh, it was all looking good, but, you know, it wasn't that long after that. He ended up back with Ben Davidson. And uh, now he's gone back. Ben, Billy Joe Saunders has gone back to Dominic Ingle. You know, so he started with Jimmy Tibbs. Then he's, you know, he flirted with Adam Booth. Then he's gone to Ben Davidson. And then he's gone Dominic Ingle, then back to De Ben Davidson. Now he's gone back to Dominic Ingle. Now, what is going on? I mean, is Billy going to come out and say who he, who's uh, who's going to be his permanent trainer? Uh, why isn't Billy? Why are these people just going to other trainers and they're saying that they're still mates and they're going, they might work together moving forward and all that? What the hell does that mean? I mean, what what's going on here? You know, could you imagine? Could you imagine uh, Joshua leaving world champion Anthony Joshua leaving Robert McCracken, right? Because Billy were a world champion, going to Ben Davis and then coming back to Robert McCracken, then going back to Ben Davis and then coming back. Now, if that had happened, everybody would want to know what's going on. But it all, it's all it all seems a little bit too cosy for me. All this, so. I don't know, is, is Ben Davison a good trainer? I don't know, he talks a good game, doesn't he? It's, every time I see him, he's doing an interview. And one of the, a lot of these other YouTube channels, they don't seem to want to, uh, they don't seem to want to upset anybody. Oh, we didn't, we didn't, we're not going to say that. You know, they're connected to MTK. They might stop us coming to the shows. Or we don't want to rock the boat at MTK. Well, listen, does that mean that nobody's allowed to say anything? Hey, Billy Joe Saunders is an MTK fighter and Ben Davison works for MTK. So what? Who is Billy Joe Saunders' trainer? Is it Dominic Ingle? Oh, Flex, uh, Flex Steeler. I call him Flex Steeler. Not Flex Wheeler, Flex Steeler. Is it Flex Steeler? You know, Billy Joe Saunders' trainer? Or is it Ben Davison and, you know... It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Tyson Fury when he fights again and who his trainer is because, let's have it right, nobody has hit Tyson Fury as much as Otto Wallin. CompuBox statistics show that Otto Wallin hit Tyson Fury a lot more than anybody else. Is that because of the cut on his eye? I don't know, but we're talking Otto Wallin here. I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see moving forward if Tyson Fury is with Ben Davidson. Uh, but like I said, I think that boxing fans, I think we should, Billy Joe Sona should come out and say who he's going to be working with moving forward. So, I don't know, is Billy keeping the the door open so it keeps Dominic Ingle on his toes? I don't know, Billy and Joe Saunders, uh, personally. But I think that the fans need to know. I mean, Ben Davidson's putting himself about looking for, to train new people. I mean, he's training Isaac Lowe, isn't he? He's trained Tom Little in the past, so that didn't... Tom Little's not with him now, so who knows, but I don't think it's fair for Ben Davidson if he's going to be training people and then they're not you, they're not going to be using him all the time. I mean, what what is he? Is he a stopgap guy or is he just a guy that people go to because they're the signed to MTK? I don't know. It's a funny situation, isn't it? It's a very funny... Well, it's not a funny situation because it's not laughable. It's an odd situation for Ben Davidson, isn't it? I mean, it must it, it must bother him that he hasn't got, like, a permanent fighter. It would bother me if I were a trainer. But nobody seems to be asking the questions, do they? Nobody's, nobody's pushing the boat out and saying, right, who is Billy Joe Saunders trained by? Is it Flex Steeler from the Steel City? Or is it Ben Davidson? Who is Billy Joe Saunders' trainer? And like I said, who is Tyson Fury's trainer moving forward? You know, I, there's there's uh, there's a lot of canaries in boxing, and there's a lot of whispering going on. Is is Tyson Fury is he is he moving on to another trainer? 
Or is he stopping with Ben Davidson? I don't know, but... You know, can Tyson Fury afford to have a few more performances like the Otto Wallin fight? I don't know, but... It was a punch that cut his eye, wasn't it? So he's obviously getting caught. Now, he should be putting people like Otto Wallin to sleep, shouldn't he? He should have done to Otto Wallin what he did to Tom Swartz, but I don't know. But maybe Tyson might have looked at the situation and thought, do you know what? I got dropped twice by Vladimir, and it could have gone the other way. And this Otto Wallin's, you know, he's up and be up. He's up and me face up. It looked like a rabbit had been gutted, didn't it, Tyson's face, bless him. So, I don't know, but it'll be interesting moving forward, won't it? So, shout out to Innovation Alloys. Shout out to Climate Cool and JJ Crump and Son. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing and keep asking these other YouTube channels when they're going to start asking some proper questions on their channel and start pushing the boat out a little bit instead of tickling people's arseholes. And we all know what we're talking about, don't we? Alright, peace. Get in there.